How to survive a long flight. This is a topic I've seen covered by a lot of people. However, I do think I have some insight that will offer a unique perspective that I think you are going to want to hear. During the last three years, I've flown for a total of 132 hours. Some flights were long, some were short, some were to university, some were to boarding school or to events. Um, and I had to prepare and fly solo completely by my own for every single one of them. While going through those flights, I was able to pick up an immense amount of insight that not only made my flights incrementally more comfortable, but also went on to make it much easier to prepare for. And that's what I'm going to talk about. See, I want you to think of flying long by yourself as a chef cooking a complex dish. First, you gather all the necessary ingredients, in this case, essential items in your carry-on. Take neck pillows, eye mask, earplugs, headphones, chargers, and power bank. These items are your recipe for comfort during the flight, ensuring that you can handle any challenges that get thrown your way. Now let's talk hydration. Airplane cabins can be notoriously dry, so it's crucial to keep yourself hydrated. Pack a refillable water bottle to stay refreshed throughout the flight. Hydration is key to feeling your best upon arrival at your destination. Comfort is king when it comes to your attire. Opt for loose fitting clothing and comfortable shoes that allow you to relax during your journey. After all, you'll be walking for hours inside that airport. And layers are your friend. They'll help you adapt to changing temperatures on board and outside when, you, when you're transiting from place to place. So when you get layers, basically you can throw on a jacket whenever it's cold. No journey is complete without snacks. Pack healthy energizing options like nuts, granola bars, or fruits to keep hunger at bay between meals. Snacking smart will help maintain your energy levels throughout the flight. Of course, I wouldn't forget this. Entertainment is essential for passing time. <laughs> Load up your devices with movies, TV shows, podcasts, music, or books to keep yourself entertained during the flight. Trust me, long hours could be very, very boring. And pre-download the content to avoid relying on onboard Wi-Fi, which could be very expensive. I know that I never buy that, so. I don't know about you, but I know for sure I cannot sit in one place for long times of hours. So take regular breaks to stretch your legs and move around the cabin. Simple exercise in your seat also like stretches can also help promote circulation and prevent like discomfort. Also this is a really important tip. Make sure to get like an aisle seat when you're booking a long flight. I know that you would want a window seat but that's for like short flights. Aisle seat would allow you to move around whenever you want. You don't have to be asking your other passengers to let you pass through them. Make sure you're always organized. Just like the chef keep your kitchen clean so the way to do that is by making sure your passport your documents your visa everything is in one single place this is another tip for you is to make a checklist of all the documents you're gonna need either from the university or from like the airport of the destination you're gonna get to make sure to check it before you leave home before boarding the plane as soon as you arrive before you get to university research transportation options from the airport to your university in advance. Knowing your options will save you time and stress upon arrival. And don't forget to double check visa and entry requirements to avoid any last minute surprises. You don't want those. <laughs> Lastly, prioritize rest before your flight. I know you're very much excited and when you're excited, it's hard to sleep on time, but try as much as you can to have a good night's of sleep because it will leave you feeling refreshed, ready for the journey that lies ahead. Adjusting your sleep schedule is crucial, especially when crossing time zones. Try to align your sleep patterns with your destination's time zone a few days in advance from your flight. This can help minimize the effect of jet lag. Trust me, it was very hard to deal with when I just got to Japan. With these tips in mind, you'll breeze through even the longest flights with ease. So there you have it, a comprehensive full guide of how to survive a long flight to get to university. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one. <laughs>